So this is a brain scan of a man who lost 90% of his brain and still lived a normal life. Just look at that. It looks empty. In fact, brain tissues in this case were replaced by water. Uh, it's a condition, it's called uh, hydrocephalus. And so the cavities in the brain increase with time. And so at the time when this was taken, he was 44 years old. Living a normal life, he has a family, he works. His IQ was tested at the time of his complaint. Basically, he showed up and complained about leg pain. His IQ came out to be 84, which is slightly below the normal range. However, he lived uh, a normal social life. And so what does this tell us? It tells us that neuroplasticity is more incredible than we thought. When more and more tissues of the brain are lost, the rest of the tissues that remain will compensate for it. When they um, remove a tumor from the brain, they have to be really delicate. They have to be very careful not to mess around with uh, very sensitive areas in the brain that would lead to loss of very important functions. But in this case, it's a superpower. Honestly, look at that. It, this raises a very important question about consciousness, to be honest. We have this belief that consciousness relies on a complex structure, the brain as a whole. But this man lived a normal life with 90% of his brain missing, yet he was conscious and self-aware and had no issues living a normal life. And that means that consciousness is not as fixed as we might think. Even though this happened in 2007, this man's case remains a mystery. All these years later, we're still learning about consciousness, neuroplasticity, and how the brain functions. But anyways, next time somebody calls you empty-headed, it's not an insult.